Good morning, movers. Welcome back to Move Daily Fitness. I'm Tracy Steen. This workout today is a beginner workout and we're focusing on the whole body. I'm gonna do a combination of cardio and strength. I'm gonna make this a no repeat workout. So each exercise is only done through once. The format will be 40 seconds of work with 15 seconds to transition and we'll alternate between cardio and strength. Hey, don't forget to grab a variety of dumbbells for the workout today. That's all you'll need. We'll start you with a warm up and end with a cool down. And don't forget, we do have our membership available. There is a beginner stream there. So if you're new to fitness or just getting back in it, it's a perfect way to get lots of help and guidance on this journey. All right, are you ready to move daily? I think I'll put high intensity intervals on the watch. The intensity won't be super high. We'll keep everything low impact, but we'll definitely be kicking the heart rate up during that cardio component, okay? Switch directions here. We'll warm you up here, get everything nice and ready to move. A warm up is important. Switch sides to make sure that you're increasing the blood flow and synovial fluid into the joint so that when you lift the weights, switch directions, um, everything's nice and warmed up, right? It's limber. That's the idea there. All right, knees are soft, hinge front and back. Just gently push your hips forward. There you go. One more here. Good, and reach across. Up and over. Nice, stay wide, knees are soft, and we'll touch our toes, opposite hand to opposite foot. Last one here. And let's just do a gentle rock side to side. Just reaching those hips back toward the back wall. Don't go too low. This inner thigh is an area that can get overstretched at times, so just be cautious here. It is an underused area, typically speaking, but if we slip and fall, that's the area that often gets pulled when we try to catch ourselves. So it's good to stretch and work that out. Good, let's do some heel digs. Sweep here, switch sides. Last one here, and stand up tall for some hip openers. Up and around, like you're lifting your leg over a box or a chair. Getting the ball and socket in the hip warmed up here. Very nice. And a little torso turn here. Bring that elbow right across to stretch through your back. Okay, there are the first four exercises. We'll start with cardio just to keep in that warm up mode, at least these first four exercises, and then get ready to work hard. Okay, we're gonna start with a heel tap front press. I'll call halfway, we'll go overhead, alternating there. Not alternating, but halfway. Here we go, and press right here. Okay, warming things up, and increasing our heart rates. Okay, overhead press right here. Good. 
I'm gonna grab some lighter weights. We're gonna go into a squat with a front raise. Twos, threes, or fives might be good here. We'll hit that suitcase squat, stand, and then front raise right there. Shoulders back, and we squat, stand, and raise the dumbbells. Good. So you wanna lift just to 90 degrees on the armpit there. Just right out in front of you. Shoulders low and back, away from the ears. So make sure you're all the way to the standing position before you hit that raise. Great. Last one here. Setting the weights down, back to your cardio. Elbow to knee, hand to toe, alternating sides. Here we go, knee and toe, switch and toe, good. If you can't kick up high, you're here, nice and low. Grabbing my fives, we're gonna go into a crush complex, which is a curl, a press, and an overhead tricep extension. Three things in one, go light, here we go. So we curl, we press, overhead, up and down. That's it, here's your side view. Knees are soft, stay tall here. Curl, press, reach overhead. Nice. Okay, set those weights down, going into your Nordic skier. So you're gonna reach opposite or same hand and leg come up nice and quick of course you could jump if you wish and reach here that's it you're slightly hinged forward no rounded back Good, grabbing a little bit heavier of a weight, I'll go with eights. We're gonna do a palms up bicep curl. So knees are soft, you're just curling a full range of motion right in the front, standing tall. And curl all the way up and all the way down. Moving into cardio, you've got an ice skater with a jack. Nice and low, you'll step to the side, a jack. Step to the side and jack. All right, hinge forward at the waist. We step and up. Step and up.
Going into your tricep kick out, so twos, threes, or fives. Holding these here, we're gonna tap with our foot and kick it out to the side. Elbows are high. Here we go. So we tap, kick, and kick. Don't let elbows drop and straighten the arm to flex the tricep. Setting those down, you've got four seals, two T-Rex, so you're out for four, three and four, then down for two. All right, nice and quick, you've got four. Three, two, one, drop for one, and two. Four, three, two, one, and drop for one, and two. I'm grabbing nice light weights, just two pounds. This can be done without weights as well. You're gonna plie, so you're here. And we're gonna pulse and raise up for the lateral raise. You could stay here if you wish. So you're low and raise, low and raise. Nice. So if you're feeling this a lot in that lower body, just stand here for a few. Okay, give me a few lateral raises and when you're ready, you pop back in. Water break coming up next. We'll give you a 30 second rest, walk it out, and then join me back when you can. Or pause the video for a longer rest if you need. Very nice, good job. We are taking it down to the ground for a bit. I've got my 10 pound dumbbells here for my chest press. All right, starting wide, we're gonna go into bridge and press over the chest. Hips are up and we press right here and bring those elbows down to the ground. So staying over the chest. Don't rush this movement and make sure that wrist is locked in neutral on both the hands. Okay, you don't want the hand to be bending back at the wrist. It should be in a very straight position like it's one piece of your forearm. Set those weights down beside you. We're moving into a turtle crunch. So in this same position, head and shoulders come off the ground and we're reaching with a palm facing the ceiling and tapping that ankle. All right, you're here and we tap, tap. If this hurts your neck, you can put one hand behind here and just do that side oblique crunch action, but support the head with the hand. Three, two, and one. Stay lying on your back here. I'm just gonna hold one dumbbell, one 10 pound, and we're gonna do an overhead tricep extension right here. You're gonna go slow, two, three on the down, and a quick up. Ready, 
here we go. Down for three, two, one, quick up, down three, two, one, quick up. Watch your skull at the top of your head. One, two, three, quick up. This slow on the down is called focusing on the eccentric phase. You can really feel some of those muscle fibers recruiting to control that weight from plummeting down. This is a great way to switch up the action, especially if you only have lighter weights. Just give it more time under tension and you're gonna feel those triceps. All right, very good. Set that weight down and back into abs. Flip yourself over. We're gonna do a plank, tap out with the feet. A plank here, tapping. Or you can modify by just holding the plank from the knees. Here we go. Tap, switch, tap. Good. Now, try to get those shoulders right over your hands. Okay, push up through the middle back. And he head is looking just down at your hands below you. Feel free to modify on the knees if you need. Or just hold the plank instead of tapping the feet. 15 seconds, let's work. Now I'm gonna kneel for this one, but if you wish to stand, feel free if your knee isn't good. One knee up, we're gonna do a curl, press. Okay, I'll call halfway, we'll switch sides. Nice and tall, and we curl and press. That's it. Switch your side. Tall and press. Another 10 here for my bent over row hammer curl. You're gonna hinge at the waist. Row it by retracting those shoulder blades. Full stand, and then that hammer curl. Here we go, squeeze. Full stand, and hammer here. Keep your elbows nice and close to your side when you hit that hammer curl. Throw some cardio back into the mix here. Butt kick, front punch, side punch, right there. Alternating, here we go, front and side. There you go. Into that front uh, cross body front raise. I'll hold fives, knees are soft. You're gonna cross the body, palm faces the ceiling, and alternating. Shoulders back, and we up, up, down, down, other side, up, down, down. So my elbow is definitely soft on this one. Palm stays facing the ceiling as I cross the body and flex the pec. Okay, right in that chest area. That's it. Back 
to cardio, two knees, two frog squats. So wheel knee, knee, frog, frog. Stick with the knee, you don't wanna squat. Here we go. And one, two, frog here, here. And into those lateral raises, twos, threes, maybe fives. Okay, we're gonna single, single, double raise right here. Stick your chest out, knees are soft. And we single, either side, now together, up, great. Moving into your triple high knee. Keep that heart rate up. So you're gonna be one, two, three, and switch. Bring those hands up to increase the heart rate. All right, nice and quick. One, two, three, switch. One, two, three. Okay, into pinwheel curls. You can go a little bit heavier, maybe eights, fives, maybe even tens, somewhere in that range. Double tens, shoulders back, cross in front of the body and alternate. So we lift, flex your bicep at the top, squeeze, good, and squeeze. We've got one more water break coming up after this. And then we'll move into the last little bit. Doing well, everyone. All right, grab some water, pause the video if you need a longer rest than 30 seconds. We're starting back with cardio. Okay, we're gonna do a speed bag, high knee. So elbows stay up high, we rapid fire this, watch your chin. I'll call half and we'll switch our high knee lift. Okay, nice and tall and work. You lift and lift. Good for balance here. Three, two, one, switch legs and up. Grab really light weights, maybe your twos or threes. We're gonna do a bicep serve. You're gonna press it out. We're gonna come out to the lateral position. 
back and in. So shoulders back and knees are soft. Press it out, extend in and back. Palms face the ceiling the whole time here. Working a little bit of that front shoulder, a little bit of bicep, and a little bit of your pec there as well. I'm gonna keep holding these two pound dumbbells for my cardio which will be cardio kicks with the front punch. All right, you'll be here. You can eliminate the weights if you wish. Nice rapid fire on this one. And keep your shoulders back, no rounding. Here we go, and we punch and kick. We're gonna move into a static lunge. If you don't wanna lunge because of your knees, just stick with high knees right here. Otherwise, you can hold on to something if you wish. A little pelvic tilt. We're gonna go straight up and down in that lunge position. So we drop and press through the heel of that front foot. I will call half and we'll switch. For some of you, lunges are gonna be no problem. For others, you're gonna to have to modify. Okay, that's where you just Hit that high knee. All right, switching legs. Pelvic tilt and drop straight up and down. Your upper body should be completely upright here. Moving into our cardio, we'll do a duck under cross body punch or you can punch to the diagonal there. Okay, if you don't want to duck or squat, you're up right there. Otherwise, duck it low and punch, low and punch, tap that foot out. Going into a plie pulse. So you can do this with or without a weight. I'm just gonna hold a 12 pound dumbbell here. Toes are out, knees are over the toes. We're gonna pulse at the bottom, stand and squeeze the glutes. So we drop, pulse, and squeeze. Good. Stay tall. Moving into your traveling butt kick punch. So you're gonna Punch forward for four, and then back for four. If you don't want to travel, you're just here, all right, in one spot. So we're four, three, two, one, and back for four, three, two, one. That's it. If you want to kick the heart rate up more, you can duck and duck, duck and duck. 
There you go. Okay, into a military press. You can go light, twos, threes, fives. We'll do a single, single, double military press. Arms out to the side, one at a time to start. And we press, other side. Now together, over. Good. Remember those dumbbells are slightly in front, okay? See my plane here, they're slightly in front. Not directly by my ears. This is a little easier on the front shoulder. Okay, into your split, split squat. Squat right there. You can stick with the tap if you don't want to squat. Ready, here we go. And we tap, tap, and drop. All right, this is your last exercise. So let's work hard, kicking that heart rate up. Last 10 seconds. Stay in the pocket with me. Three, two, one and done. You move daily and you're no repeat total body hit workout. Thanks for joining. Stay tuned for a stretch if you can. Well done everyone. Can we make our way down to the ground? I want you on your back. Okay, and you're gonna grab one of your legs. The other one's gonna be straight down on the ground. Just one of those knees and drive it up toward your chest as best you can. Good, relax those shoulders. Deep inhale through the nose. And slow exhale for six, five, four, three, two, one, and switch legs. Deep inhale through the nose. And exhale for six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good, grab both knees, little circles on the back here. Uh, one of the themes that I've been seeing over on my Instagram and my Facebook feeds, uh, people will post little comments below. Let's let our legs fall to one side here. Hands out to your side and shoulders on the ground. One of the themes is, I started this back in January and I stayed with it and now I'm at closer to my target. I started this back in May. I've lost this much weight, I've increased this much muscle, and I'm closer toward my target. Like, it's the thing, and then someone wrote, um, you know the definition of insane is doing the same thing over and over and not seeing results? <laughs> she said, the opposite is true with exercise. You do the same thing day after day, you show up for yourself, you commit to the process, you exercise, you lift weights, you do your cardio, you increase your heart rate, you eat healthy, you get good sleep, you manage your stress, you make sure that your hormones are balanced and you get to see these results. And that, I just thought that was brilliant. So let's bring the leg up, nice little hamstring stretch. Uh, stretch, rather flex that foot, push your heel to the ceiling. And it's true, it's that dripping water on the stone, hollows it out, not through force, but through persistence, says Ovid. And that is just completely true in business, in relationships, in friendships, in exercise, in projects, <laughs> right? It's just that showing up for yourself. And I think for a lot of people, maybe what stalls them is the motivation to show up for yourself, right? It's like, I don't feel like it. Well, lots of us don't feel like it. And that is really where that working on your grit and resilience comes in. Feet together, knees are open, just a gentle rock here. 
Uh, I talked about this the other day. It's a, I think it's such a skill that we need to hone in on. And if you don't feel like you have grit or resilience, which means when the going get tough, you rise to the occasion. You show up for yourself, right? Let's come to seated. You have the capacity to continue in the hard work of it all. And I mean, I understand when life circumstances happen such that, you know, there's no way. But so often it's just because we don't feel motivated and we rely on the feelings to rally us when we shouldn't be relying on that because those wane and those come and go. And some months they're so strong, we just feel like we could climb Everest. And other months, all we wanna do is stay in bed. So, I mean, part for me, I'm just like, well, you said you were gonna do this. So you've got to just, you've got to just do it. And the beautiful part about it is, as we know, that once you're done it, you get all the wonderful and beautiful benefits of endorphins, serotonin, right? You get that little hit of energy post-workout, uh, which is such a treat, such a gift to have this feeling after you're done, you feel amazing. If only we could bottle that and sell that so we could take it before the workout. Um, but that's where, that's the difference between the dopamine system, reward system, right? Dopamine is more, arms back, thumbs down, that anticipation that you're gonna receive something pleasurable. And so we think about having chocolate cookie or chocolate cake or overeating or gambling or, shopping or drinking and those things we know are going to give us an instant relief or gratification the moment we taste them or inhale them or do them. Uh, that's not necessarily the same with exercise for a lot of people. Exercise, you don't get those feelings and not necessarily dopamine, but like I said, these other, these other systems like serotonin and, um, and different endorphins are released but not till after the activity is done. So it's that delaying of gratification and asking yourself, can I just do this because I've committed and promised that I would? And I know that if I do X, Y, and Z, I will feel better. I will feel more motivated. I will be closer to my targets. And we trust that process instead of always trusting how we feel in the day. I think that's important if you want to stick with this for the rest of your life, because we're all going to have days where we don't feel like it. And the question is, will you show up for yourself and do what you say you wanted to do? All right. Thanks for joining. Go move daily now in your wellness and nutrition, and I'll see you in the next workout.